test bed lab, uh, and all the controls you can see here are just job, standard JavaFX controls. So this is a slider and buttons, and they just start with CSS. I think my favorite is the toggle button over on the side. And so we can switch between different um, chart types. And so this is taking audio data using our media APIs and putting the spectrum directly into the standard charting APIs. So this is a, a sort of test bed we started off to test out performance of charts to see how fast you can we pump at 60, 70 times a second um, changing charts with animation and everything else. And then various charts and different audio sources. So then the next sort of thing was, yeah, can we take that a bit further? Um, what happens if we wanted to put it into 3D? So this is the same thing, but basically based on a full 3D chart. This is running in JavaFX 2.0. Um, you can run this today. And so we've got full 3D bar bars um, with level edges and everything else running in 3D. But as you can see, we're doing 60 frames a second, no problems, um, and things just fly. I also love every time you hit one of those little clickers, you get the click sound. So you've got, a, you've got an API for that for low latency audio as well. Yeah, so we have a low latency audio API which you can use for sound effects and music and that sort of thing. So this is a demo, demo we built of a three-dimensional Rubik's Cube, and you can actually play it. Um, I've got a pre-recorded here, so I don't actually mess it up completely. But, um, so again, you know, we can create complex 3D stuff, and this is basically taking 2D objects and transforming them in 3D space, which can all be done with JavaFX 2.0 today. You'll also, also notice that we are mixing 2D and 3D content here. So we have a semi-transparent image giving the old sort of oscilloscope look, being layered over 3D content, and the two are completely transparently mixing. So next we go on to some demos where we're pushing the forefront. So you know, today we can take 2D objects and place them in 3D space and animate them. In the future we'll be able to take full 3D objects. So here we have a complete 3D dupe, and we can make them do some cool things like animate, and wave for us, or do a backflip, and so the way this was all done was we had a professional animator animate these in Maya, and we can actually just import those Maya files directly into JavaFX and run them. And you can obviously view it from any <coughs> angle. One of my favorites. But it's really great to be able to have you know, the first full Java Duke in 3D running in Java with really nice animations. So the next stage was, you know, we started to say, where can we push this a little bit further? And so we went for a complete three-dimensional room. So this was, you know, my imagination of what the JavaFX labs might be like. And we've got all our whiteboards where we're working out all the skeleton calculations for Duke and so forth. And we have our monitor and all our equipment there. We said, well, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we could control that Duke and actually, you know, pretend to be Duke in our labs? Ooh. And I mean, that's the right button. So we have a Microsoft Connect connected up, and hopefully it will detect me. Transforming of the mesh in real time due to the input from the connects and stuff in the GPU. Yeah, so thank you. 